Hey, hello, Eric and Jennifer. How are you doing today? Everything good? Hello. Very, very well. Thank you. Hello, I'm, teacher. I'm turning on my camera, but it won't work. Anyways, um, so it's good to see you again. Hold on. Um, give me one second. Give me one second. I think everybody will be late today. Hey, how are you doing with the platform? I already finished today, finally. Oh, you finished <laughs> them all? Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay, so... Let me see the camera. Hold on. Let me try turning on the camera again. There you go. All right. Very good. So, anyways, um, uh, what about you, Eric? Did you finish the platform? No, already. Did you? No. Do you need help no. in any any of them? Yeah. Which one? Hello. Let me check. Mm -hmm. The section one, I don't know who no, is. No, no, not from section one, man. <laughs> I mean, es que, uh, es que lo que pasa es que hay una que no sé cómo, solo una, eh, una, un, un, okay, un well, ejercicio. I'll help you. Just one, but, the, but yeah. those, those are, we resolved them in the class, okay? That's why we do not usually go back to previous se sessions. The first one. Yeah. All right. It's okay. So, uh, let's let's go. I'll help you. One point one point four. One point four. Yeah. So which one? Uh, the first one and the second part. The first, the first one in the second part. Yeah, I like to meet people, but. I try with it. All right, I'm, 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 practice, pasting, but... I'm, I'm pasting the answers there. All right. Uh, use those answers and they'll get you through. Okay. All right. Uh, welcome. I, I sent both, an, both answers. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. I had, uh, I had problems with the, um... The, the last section in number B. Okay, all right, let's let's go and uh, check that out. So last section and then and uh, letter letter B. Which I'm I'm here. Which one is it? Five point seven, five point six. No, what it's are you talking it's. About? After that is letter B. It only says letter B. You mean the, the midterm? This? Yeah, that one. So which one did you did you have an issue with? We the number one and number three. Okay. Uh who's got the answer for number one, guys? From the midterm. All right, I'll, I'll share the answers here, okay? Well, what is your answer, uh, Jennifer? Let me see. Use, could I use your laptop this weekend? Can I use mm -hmm. your laptop this weekend? Could, could I use... All right, could I use your laptop this weekend, okay? But I, but I only put use your laptop this weekend. All right, let's see what the answer is. So can I borrow, could I borrow, could, could I borrow your laptop for the weekend? Okay, could I borrow? 
All right, and question, question more, Ray. And the second, and which one? Which was the other one? The number three, three. Three. I was wondering if you'd mind lending me your newspaper. That's the answer, lending me your newspaper. Yeah. Okay, yes. Okay, thank you. All right, very good, yeah, no problem. All right, anything else, guys? From section four and five in the midterm, okay? Nothing from before because you can watch the videos on YouTube and you should have come to class, all right? So, uh, so anything else, guys, from section four, five, and the midterm? No, we're good. All right. So the I think mid this the midterm. The midterm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, part C. Part C is this one right here. But this mm -hmm. one is just check marks. No. Which one then? And uh, the midterm section three. Midterm section letter three. C. Yeah. Let us see. Right, but that's from section three. All right, let's let's go back and see. If... <coughs> All right. So, so this one right here. Yeah. But but okay. So I'm just gonna give you the answers real quick. I we already solved these ones on a previous class while we were in the class. Okay. So okay. I'm just gonna paste them there, but guys. You need to come to class, right? Very good. So there you go. I sent you the answers there. Okay, so guys, from section four, five, and midterm, anything else? No? All right. So if you do come across, guys, questions, right? Let me know. We have to get started, though. Okay, so we, today, guys, we're going to continue talking about um, uh, relative clauses, okay? We're going to talk about clauses, guys. And how a phrase can turn into a noun, okay? So, guys, real quick review from last time. So, what would be a, what would be, guys, a relative, uh, a relative clause? We went over, we went over, right, um, dependent and independent clauses, right? But we didn't go over exactly what relative, where relative clauses are, okay? Now, uh, turn on your cameras, guys. Remember, relative clauses, guys, are clauses that start with a relative pronoun, okay? And what are the relative pronouns? Who would like to help me read, guys? Which ones are the relative pronouns? Which. Who, which, whose. Whom, that. Whom, that, right? Very good, guys, okay? So these are called relative pronouns okay why because first of all they are pronouns okay why are they pronouns because what is the job of, of a pronoun guys what's the job the job of a pronoun no nobody knows what a pronoun a pronoun does, guys? I'll give you a million points in my heart if you tell me what a pronoun does, okay? Uh, join a sentence? No, a pronoun. Uh, just a pronoun. Uh, yes. Mm. No. When we say he, she, it, we don't know what they do. They replace, guys, a noun, okay? A pronoun replaces a noun, right? Instead of saying Cheyenne, I could say, I could say what? He. All right. Instead of saying Carla, I could say, she. I could he. say she, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Instead of saying the 
the the the class, right? Right? We could say they. We could say they, right? Very good. Okay. So we could say they, etc. All right. So oh hold on. All right. So yes, we could say they, etc. All right. Okay, so, all right, so this is, guys, the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm asking you uh, this, okay, because what is going on here, guys, is that each of these words are actually pronouns, okay? They're called pronouns, right? So they're called pronouns because they are replacing a noun. For example, take a look at this example. It says the woman who called yesterday wants to buy a house. Okay, so let's analyze that. Okay, so if we have the, what's the woman who, the woman, hold on. All right, so if you say, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you say the woman, this is the woman who called yesterday wants to buy the house. Okay, so, so the woman who called yesterday wants to buy the house. Okay, now notice something here, guys, right? So who, the word who here, I mean, this, this could be a question, a question word, right? But it's not a question word because because um it's not acting as a as a question starter okay so who guys if it is a pronoun what is it replacing and i'm she it's replacing no remember it replaces a noun right a noun Cannot be a pronoun, guys. So what is it replacing? What is who replacing? A woman. Very good. It's replacing the woman. Yes, guys. It's replacing the woman. Guys, this, guys, this is basically like saying she. Okay? All right. Have you ever noticed, guys, and, and this is something that happens a lot. Have you ever noticed... Some people saying, uh, and you say this a lot. You, you, you guys, you would actually do this a lot, okay? You would say, the woman she called yesterday to, to uh, she called yesterday to buy the house. You say the woman, and then say she. This is a very common mistake from from Spanish from Spanish speakers. You would say the woman, and then would say she. She called yesterday. Guys, this is like having two subjects. See, subject, subject, right? We say the woman and she. Has that ever happened to you guys? Yes, because I hear it all the time. So this is a mistake, okay? We don't say the woman, she. So guys, who is actually replacing, right, the woman? So it's like saying she. Okay, so we say the woman who called yesterday wants to buy the house, okay? Why, guys? Because this is a pronoun, okay? This is called a pronoun. What type of pronoun, David? It is a relative, right? This is a relative pronoun, okay? So, guys, where is the relative plus? The relative plus, guys, starts from a relative pronoun. Who called yesterday wants to buy the house. That, guys, right here is the relative pronoun, okay? I mean, the relative plus. This, guys, right here is a clause. Remember, what is a clause, guys? Guys, what is a clause? Uh, that a clause have a subject, verb, and predicate. Very okay. good. Okay, so a clause, guys, is a group of words that contains, all right, a subject and a predicate. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're awesome. Okay. So let's go back to, so who, guys, is used for people, right? 
which is going to be used for things in animals, okay? So we have an example. Did you see the letter which came today? I love the puppy which is jumping at the kitchen. Let's take a look at that one, right? So we can say, I. so this is, right? Give you an example like this. So this is, right? This is the relative pronoun of who, right? Then we have which. And the example says, I love the puppy which is jumping at the kitchen. Right, so I love the puppy which is jumping at the kitchen, okay? So what is which replacing, guys? What is this word replacing here? What is that replacing, guys? Very good. It's replacing the puppy, right? It's replacing the animal. That is correct, okay? All right, so this is like saying, guys, this is like saying, you know, it, right? So it is a pronoun, guys. It is jumping at the kitchen, right? Very good, okay? So. We use these for people, these for animals and things, right? Uh, who's, who's is a little bit more complicated, but, but it, it, it's used for possessions of people and animals, okay? He's a man whose opinions I respect. You can, you can say, he's a man whose opinion I respect. Okay. Now, what is who? Uh, who not, not like this, guys. Whose opinion, right? Mejor, la niña de say, all right. I'm going to mute you guys if you are. All right. If you are not participating just because of the noise. All right. So, he's a man whose opinion I respect. So, what is who's replacing here? Uh, Ming. Nope. Okay, you're actually replacing opinion, right? Who's this replacing opinion? Okay. All right, because these guys, okay, it's talking about belongings, okay? All right, then next step, guys, we have whom. All right, uh, whom, guys, is used for people when this person is the object of the verb, okay? So you can say, for example, all right, so let's go with whom. You can say, um, he is the person whom you, whom you criticized in your book, okay? He's the person who you criticized in your book, okay? All right, then we have guys that, and that guy is just for people, things, and animals, okay? So basically... You can uh, use it, guys, with everything. All right. So you can say, uh, let's say, for example, we have something like that, right? You can say uh, he or she, right? She is the person that I like the most. Okay. So there you go, guys. Okay. So now. It's okay if you don't understand like how to use them all right now. Okay, we're gonna learn that later. But right now, guys, I want you to identify where are the relative clauses here, okay? And I want more people participating because uh, I only had Giselle, guys. Thank you, Giselle. So let me ask, uh, and Maria Concepcion and Carla, right? Uh, let me ask, let's see, let's see. Jaime Reyes, okay. Jaime, where is the relative clause in the second sentence? I'll, I'll remind you of something, okay? A relative plus, guys, is introduced by a relative pronoun, right? So if you can see the relative pronoun, everything that follows, you know, the next clause that follows the relative pronoun, guys, is the relative plus, okay? So, uh, so which one in the second sentence could you identify the... Relative pronoun.
which is jumping. Very good, which is jumping at the kitchen. Very good, good job, man. Really good job, okay. All right. Uh, in the third example, Claudia Rivas, where is the relative clause? In the third ex example. Yes, in the third example, yes. The relative clause, um, whose opinion I respect. Whose opinion I respect, good job. Eric, Eric Cardoza, all right. And the fourth example, where's the relative clause? Um, sorry. Um, whom you write it in your book. Exactly, there you go, man. All right. This is whom you criticized in your book, right? And lastly, Noah Vasquez, where is the relative clause in the in the, the last example? That I like the most. That I like the most. Okay, good job. Good job, guys. All right, very good. Good job. Good job, good job, good job. All right. Very good, guys. Really, really, really good job. Teacher, tell me. I have me, brought in my camera. What? You have I problems have with your camera? camera. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. It's okay, man. It's okay. All right, very good. All right, guys. I have an option here that says recognize hand gestures. You know, um, okay. I, I don't know if it works only from you. Do my favor. Uh, Jennifer, ra raise your hand. Raise your hand. I want to see something. Just raise your hand. No, it doesn't do anything. It would be cool if you recognize it like that, you know. All right, anyways, all right, thank you very much, Jennifer. All right, so guys. Do me a favor, okay? All right, so we're gonna we're not gonna work with all of them, guys. Okay, we're gonna work with the very important ones. Okay, so let's keep moving on, guys, with the what relative clauses are. Okay, so remember, guys, a relative clause will start with a relative pronoun, right? And we know what relative pronouns are, right? Uh, who, that, which. Okay, I want you to learn, guys, that and who. All right. Now we have defining and non-defining relative clauses. Okay, forget about that right now. Okay, the only thing that we care about right now is understanding relative pronouns. So what I, I want you to do something. Okay, what we are going to do is that um, you're gonna work with examples like this. Okay, so see you guys, who or that, who or that, which or or that. Okay, so I want you guys to create a relative, uh, some relative clauses. Okay. Uh, following these examples, what you are going to do, guys, is that you're going to start, you can start like this, okay? If you want, you can start like this. Let's say that I want five examples with who, who works. Pretend, guys, pretend that when you say who or that, because you can use both here, this, this actually means he, okay? Got it? Pretend that it, it is like that, okay? So, hold on, all right? So you are going to say, for example, give me, give me, give me, um, give me a sentence with he. I, I need a volunteer, guys, to give me a sentence with he. Uh, he wants to move to the other side. He wants to move to the other side. Very good, guys. Good job. Notice, guys. Right? This, guys, this is in parentheses because this is not what we're saying. We're saying who or that wants to move to the other side, right? That's what we're saying, right? But remember, this, guys, and this represents he right now, right? So we need the complement, right? Because this is a relative clause, but it is a dependent or independent clause, guys. Independence. Independent, right? It's an independent relative clause, okay? And it is a dependent one, dependent one, okay, sorry, All right? So we need something before, right? So what, what can we place before this, guys? What can we say before who or that? You can say, guys, whatever other 
verb you want. Let's say simple past. I saw the man. All right. So now I'm saying I saw the man who wants to move to the other side. I saw the man that wants to move to the other side. What is this doing, guys? This is avoiding us from using the word he again. Okay. You can say, all right, tell me, uh, let's see, Carla, do, do you still have your parents with you? Tell, tell me something. Tell, give, give me, uh, what is, who is a person, who is someone you admire? Who is someone you admire? Mm. Don't, don't say, so I heard people say, um, Bukele, guys. I was like, very <laughs> no, <laughs> so uh, don't say that. <laughs> right. uh, Jamie Oliver is a okay. chef. Very good. Okay. Very, very good. Okay. Tell me something uh, that he is. He's a good chef. Okay. He, right. He is a good chef, right? Very good. So we're gonna replace he guys with, do you wanna replace it with who or with, with, with what, with that? Who? Cool. All right, you can use, you can use, uh, you can use that too here, all right? Because we use that for people and things, right? So I can say, guys, I can say Jamie, I forgot, uh, Jamie, whatever. Jamie, I like this, right? Jamie Oliver is the man, the man who is a good chef, chef. all right? See, I can say this, right? Jamie Oliver is the man who is a good chef. All right. So I instead of saying Jamie Oliver is the man, he is a good chef. Right? I'm saying who is a good chef, right? I could say I could say all right, uh she could have said Jamie. Right. Oh my god. Typing in Jamie is too difficult, guys. Jaime, okay. Jaime Oli Oli Oliviera. All right, Jaime Oliviera. <laughs> That is the Latina version, the cheap version of the Jamie, Jamie Oliver, right? Jaime Oliveira, all right, is the person that, or you can say who, right? Carla admires, right? You can say this, got it? All right. However, uh, or you can say who Carla admires, right? That would be okay. Or you can say uh, Jamie Oliveira is the person, you know, that is admired by a lot of people who like to cook or pretend they like to cook. No, I'm kidding, guys. Who like to cook, right? Very good. <laughs> Very good. All right. All right, so you're gonna give me examples like this, guys. Okay, you can, uh, you can, if you want to talk about things, guys, you can talk about things. Okay, you can say, I don't know, guys. Um, um, the red house, the red house. Um, uh, now you can say, uh, well, you can say this, right? <laughs> The red house, they, uh, my family purchased um, no, hold on. the red house, uh, no, let's use something else, guys, okay, you can see that that is the cat that visits me every night okay that's the cat you know that is the cat that visits me every night right 
So instead, right, take a look at what we're doing here. That is the cat, right? So we will have one sentence here, all right? And then instead of saying that visits me, visits me every night, you could say it visits me every night, right? So basically, guys, what you're doing with clauses, with relative with relative clauses, guys, is joining two ideas together without having to repeat the same pronoun or noun, okay? So see, I'm going to join it together. You can say that is the cat, right? That is the cat that visits me every night, right? Does that make sense? All right. Yes. Very good. Okay. So guys, I want, okay, I'm going to get you into couples and uh, please do my favor. Take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group right now. Somebody please take a screenshot of this and send it to the group if you're so kind guys. Okay. And what you'll do. All right. Okay. And what you'll do guys is that uh, you're gonna share that to the group and you're gonna, and, and that, 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 that screenshot guys is gonna help you uh, as an example, okay? So now, once I put you together guys, I want, I want um, five relative clauses about people and five relative clauses about things or animals, okay? Using that, okay? Right. If you want, you can. I mean, you can find more examples online. I mean, I, I I need you to create your own examples, right? But if you want to have more information, you can you can find that online. Okay. All right. So is it clear, guys? Is yes. Is what we're gonna do clear? Okay. Very good. Okay. So let's get started. Okay. So so it's guys. It's actually a per couple, right? So you. Both of you need to have the same answer, okay? So if, if uh, Giselle is working with Carla, both of them need to have the same answer, okay? Very good, guys. So let's work. All right. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's join, guys. Let's go. All right, let's join, guys. Let's join. Very good. Let's join. One. Pero... <laughs> what happened? Nothing. Uh, putting according to work. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> this looks so suspicious. No, I no, no. <laughs> All right. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Nosotros hagamos uno cada uno. Uno de cada uno. Okay. Pero somos cuatro participantes, no. Beautiful English. Uno. English, 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 beautiful English. <laughs> okay. Only English. <laughs> uh, um Bye. Okay. I I have my example. But you first. Okay. Uh, that the dog that been my song last week. Repeat please. The dog that the dog that beat my song last week. A ver si me entiende. That's the dog. Estoy hablando de animal. Ah. Ajá. Uh, that beat, that beat, beat, morder. My song last week. Te acepto el negro, pero lo demás. Sorry, no, no lo entiendo. Okay. That the dog that did my song last week. Last week? Voy a decirle la mía. My pronouns are who? Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. 
¿Cuál es? What is your uh, sentence? Ok. The, the woman who went away with me um, uh -huh. his computer. Uh-huh. Um, who my friend let me his computer who who is not working. Yeah, it could be it could be a good example. Who is not it's not working. Uh-huh. Working. Yeah. Me. I think it's cool. <laughs> yes, I think so. <laughs> My friend let me his computer who is not working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Another one with which? Which? The example is that the house in which they live for their lives. Um, Mm. Let's see. Maybe my brother's car. I don't know. Let me think. My brother's car. Um, my brother's car. Or maybe my brother loves his car. My brother what? Loves. A lot. Loves. Yeah, loves his car, which um. Let's see. That's the house. Yeah. Which boat? Which boat the last year? Oh, huh? maybe yeah. Which yeah. boat? Which the boat? Um, last maybe more more reasonable. The last month. Okay. Yeah, I think. So. A player, a soccer player. Mm. Me, me, Messi, for example, for example, Messi is is the man who win win. win the the best hour mm. Messi is the man who who <clears throat> who wins the best hour Where's... Ajá, Messi es el hombre quien ganó el premio The Best. Quiero ser autodidacta. Realmente. Beautiful Spanish. <laughs> it's more easy in Spanish. <laughs> did, did you finish though? No, we, we are still working <laughs> okay we are... <laughs> are you, are you can, working can in... we write can we write um questions about it yeah just... yes you can you can yes yes you can you can uh, make questions too okay well, we have two <laughs> <laughs> we have two already okay um like this one. Do you see the cat 
which is lying on the roof. Is that a correct question? Do you see the cat, what? Which is lying on the roof? Yes, you, yeah, that is correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Nothing. I'm still thinking, you know, thinking is at work. So I, I need time to, to think. All right, no problem. Take your time. Take <laughs> your time. It's okay. Um, All right. Um, monkey. <laughs> Only that, no. Eh. <laughs> uh, other, other example. Can it be? With, with who? The man? I studied, I studied a lot before. Something like that. I don't know. I got a ten in my exam, which I let's see. Um, I I had a study. It. I had mm. it a plus four. I got a ten in my exam, which I which I had a, which which I had studied. Um, I don't know. Sounds weird, but I don't know if it's good. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Let's see. I got a I got a ten in my exam, which I had studied a lot. Maybe it's it's bad. Let's put it and let's see if it's correct or not. Because uh-huh. Let's try it. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I got a ten in my exam, which I which I had studied, right? Yeah. Which I had studied. Mm. I started. I got it two days ago. I started. No. Sorry? No, no. Forget ah. it. Mm. Oh, I'm just trying to study. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I want I want to mm, I Hey guys, how are you doing? I don't know what was happening with Noah. Uh, hello, Eric. Ah, okay. It's there. We have another partner, I don't know. Uh, I only... You hear me? Eric. Yes, we, we can hear you. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Eric? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you have the sentence? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can read 
for example, in my one. case, okay, you can okay. read please. Yeah, okay. of course. Um, give me a moment, please. I am sick and I need to take my pills. Sorry. One minute. Okay. So, uh, we talking about <laughs> you. You are a very good teacher. Keep going. What? You are a very good teacher. We are talking about with you. About you. <laughs> why? Why did you stop? I just came here to. You get it. <laughs> No, we finish. We finish. We yeah, finish. Just finish. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. well, well, okay. I will not ask if you don't want me to. Okay. But good job. Good job. Thank right. you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's go back. Let's okay. Go back. okay. You have the microphone uh, of teacher. Thank you so much, Carlita. All right, so uh, Giselle, uh, let's have one of your examples, please. You Fernando have... Fernando Ramirez, who is seven seventeen years old, has just retired. Okay, now that that's okay. I mean, uh, that's guys. That that is a what you did just there is something, right? That we call a non-defining relative clause. Okay, a non-defining relative clause is basically optional information. For example, you can say, I don't know. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, who is the person who says, Su! right, is a bad soccer player, right? You can say that, <laughs> right? But that, that you know, who is the person who says, Su! right, that is optional. That is, that is the optional information, okay? So you can say Cristiano Ronaldo is a bad player, right? I'm kidding, guys, okay? I don't watch soccer. I don't care about Cristiano Ronaldo, right? Don't, don't get mad, okay? So, uh, but yeah, okay, so so it's okay, right? It's okay, but I want a defining relative clause, which is basically, you know, information that matters, right? So you could say, oh, he is the person who buys from me every day, right? Because if you say who buys from me every day, you know, that is not optional. That information is needed, right? I need that information, okay? But if you say, oh, you know, he is, he is the guy, uh, he is the guy, um, no, no, no. Um, you can say Ernesto, who is someone I know, likes to buy uh, T-shirts from me, right? That then, you know, who is the person I know is optional. If it is optional information, that is a different topic, right? It's a non-defining relative clause, okay? So I, I, know, I, I don't want optional information like that. I need information that matters okay so do you have another example uh Giselle yes um I I changed the the name for he is the man that sang thriller he's the man right he's the man who sang thriller very good good job thank you good job right mm -hmm. uh 
Jennifer. Let's go, Jennifer. I'm sorry. Uh, let me check my. I, I don't find it. Ah. The dog. No, no, no. Do you see the cat which is lying on the roof? Okay, right, very good. Do, do, do you have that's the example that you gave me last time? Do you have another one? <laughs> yeah. Don't tell me you have two examples <laughs> only, girl. <laughs> The dog, the dog that was sleeping earlier is now very energetic. Very good. All right. The dog that was, okay, sleeping earlier, okay, is now very energetic, okay? Now, that that is also a non-defining relative plus, but that's okay, right? It is a relative plus, so it's okay. All right, very good. Good job. All right. Uh, Carla. Let's go, Carla. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Jessica. Mm, I got 10 in my exam, which I had studied. Okay, I had, okay. I scored a 10 in the exam I had studied for. You can okay. say that. Can uh, I use which or I, just who? Or that? No, you, you can use which too. I, I, had, okay. I scored a 10 in the exam that I had, which I had studied for, right? Very good. Good job. Uh, Maria Concepcion, what do you got? He is a person. I love it. He is a person. He is the person that I love. Very good. I love or you can say who I love. Right. Uh, Noah Vasquez, what do you have, Noah? Okay, teacher. And the woman who the left me give me money last week. The the woman who gave me money last week. Give me, give me money last week. Or that is the woman who gave me money last week. Gave me is the gave past me. tense of yes. yes. Very good. Claudia Rivas, what do you have, Claudia? Okay. Um I don't know if it's good, but um, my friend lets me his computer, um, which it's not working. Okay, my my friend lent me his the computer, computer, that computer that is not working. That is. Yes. That it's not working. Okay. Very good. Good job. All right, uh, Juan Linares, what do you have, sir? Okay. That is the car in which go, go to the work. That is the car in which I go to work. Very good. In which I go to work, right? Very good guy. Eric Cardoza, what do you have? Uh, that man uh, who played with me yesterday. That is the man, right, who played with me yesterday. Very good. All right, Jaime Reyes, what do you have? Talking about soccer players, Messi is the man who won the best award 2023. Okay, Messi is the man who won the best what? The best award. The Premier best the hour. Best. Premier the best. All right, okay. 2023. 2023. 2023. Messi is the man. Who won the best award 2023? Okay. I'm not really sure what, what do you what you mean with the best hour 2023. But I don't know if that's a, a some kind of prize that I don't know. But all right, but that's that's good guys. Okay. Good job. Applause guys for everybody. Good, 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 right? This is so sad. I, these are not like the reactions from Google. Meet. <laughs> yeah, applause, guys. Come on. I'm like, this, <laughs> this is such a, such a sad class, you know? All right. Anyways, guys. So, all right. Good examples. Good examples. Okay. So, we're missing the most important topic that we'll see tomorrow. Um,
tomorrow will be our 16th day, if I'm not mistaken, guys. So congratulations. We've reached the end, right? So I have no idea if uh, I will see, if, if I'll see you in the next module. I hope so. You know, usually that is what happens, right? But but we'll see. We'll, we'll have to see, right? Okay, so any questions, guys? Everything good? All right. So, okay. all right. So, guys, uh, thank you very much then, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your evening, guys. Bye-bye. See you guys. Take Bye, care. teacher. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. <laughs>